All right, guys, we are officially in Stuttgart, Germany. I've never been here before. This place is beautiful. The skate park that they're having the Vans BMX Pro Cup at is amazing, too. They just built it like three weeks ago, and they're already having the event. Vans came here, and they put their logos all over it, and this place is unreal. So right now, for the next couple days, we have practice going on, and then the event is going to be this weekend. My little brother, Maddie is going to be riding in it. He's in 18th place in points so far after the first stop. So it's crucial for him to get top 20 here so he can move on to the next event which is going to be in Mexico but I'm going to show you guys the course right now I gave Maddie the camera and he's going to give you guys a little POV shot while he cruises around gets used to it and Maddie's only dropped in once so far so I don't know what he's going to be up to so we're going to be checking that out shortly but right now I'm going to show you guys a quick little overlook of the skate park so right now we're on top of the bleachers I'm going to give you guys a quick little rundown of the course there is a whole lot of hips here there's a lot of different variations of transition as well it's really confusing when you're looking at it but it's a lot smaller of a skate park than it has been the ones that we've been to that have been in australia and in mexico right here there's a massive wall that they built you can see the concrete part is underneath of it but they built the extension out of wood so there's also an overver area over there that the guys are actually riding it's a bowl corner and uh, it's pretty cool but it's awesome to see the vans logos all over this place it looks very official and Vance takes over the whole area over here. So you can see around there is fencing and that's gonna keep everybody from getting into the place that's not supposed to be because they have security in here and stuff like that. But they have bleachers that they set up for this event so everybody can come and watch and it's an awesome view from up here. There's also another part that they built right here which is a tombstone. So this is in the bowl corner. So guys are gonna be gapping from that spot over to that one, I can guarantee you that. So next up, we're gonna get a course preview, but from Maddie's point of view, we have a chess cam on him and he's gonna bring you guys for a run around the skate park and I'm gonna narrate it as he goes through it. You guys are gonna see all the lines, all the hips, all the close up angles of the transitions here. And just to look at the skate park it is absolutely amazing. I am so jealous that these guys get to ride this one. This looks so cool. Now it's time for the course preview with Maddie. Dropping in, hitting the wall ride to the hip, jumping big hip set up carving up over the spine and going into the clamshell area jumping the next hip he is flying right now going up on top of the bank of the disaster carving up over the volcano into the spine area going into the deep end pumping around getting speed heading back over to the vert wall pumping into the clamshell to the left this time jumping over the six foot spine hitting the hip again there's so many options to do on this course. This is gonna be an awesome event. I'll be honest, man, you look pretty professional out there. You think? Yeah. I appreciate Especially that. Especially for your first couple of runs, man. I did not expect man. you to know exactly where you were going. I'm trying to figure out this line. So okay. you're liking it so far? Yeah, it's fast, it's very quick. Like, you land and there's something in your way, right there. Are you gonna try bars from disaster? I'm try bars from disaster. Right now? I'm gonna give it a go, as All long right. as I clear this hip this time. Okay, good. I'll be over there. All right. Come on, right now. Ah, oh, perfect. That was legit. They make everything super easy to pronunciate. Say it. Take it as groomy. I don't know how to say the A. Oh, what do you say? Ah, or something? Take on Kaswam. Yeah, I think it's Agamu. All right, so we are officially on the streets of Germany right now. Give you guys a look to see what it's like. We got scooter riders, that's for sure. There's a lot of wagons, tons of wagons around here. I feel, uh, feel like this could be my kind of place. So there's supposed to be like a really old area where there's like old shops. So we're gonna go over towards that way and uh, show you guys what it looks like, but check this out. So this is what it looks like right outside the hotel. It's just like a nice little town. It's pretty, pretty cool. Like I was saying, there's just wagons everywhere. Look at right here, another one. So mad, like look at that. In yeah, America, that would be rough. In America, you screwed up. Like, <laughs> you, that's by accident, you know? Hey, look you at this look, pork chop. Like, how did I get that close, you know? Imagine this, you gotta pull out into this little area every single day. That'd be crazy. You're scraping something on you here every single might. time. Or hitting those garbage cans, no <laughs> doubt in my mind. So here's like a little alleyway. I don't know, I thought he was just made to walk up, but he might come driving down here every single day. We found the street spot. There's a little wall ride in somebody's garage. No tire marks, surprisingly. We could be the first. <laughs> but look at these buildings. It's so different than anything like back home. It's so cool. That doesn't even mean anything, I guarantee it. And they have every American <laughs> try person. To, try to announce it, that word. <laughs> I'll just read the whole sentence, it's easy. Unberichtigt geparkte Farzugi Worden Kostenflichtig 
Ab gets clipped. <laughs> That's not even German, oh, I guarantee you. Here. I told you that. <laughs> you I wasn't kidding. kidding. That was me in school when you need to fill up space and I just sit there and hit the keyboard a couple times. Whatever comes out, I'm like, yep. <laughs> looks like words. <laughs> That is so crazy to me. And it fits good too. It's not even that tight. Good. Just good for you. Hey, what's up, guys? Kolfisch Fish Cake. Kolfisch Rikisch. Now, if I read that sign, I'm gonna look. I'm gonna play a part. Yeah. We just came to this like cool courtyard. And like, this is like what I would imagine thinking about Germany. It's so cool to see. I had no idea that this is like right near our hotel. We're like two blocks away and it's like completely different. <laughs> That's King Flugenheimen's castle. King Flugenheimen. <laughs> So here's a uh, <laughs> so here's a statue set up right here, and Maddie's got a great explanation of what's going on here. I think basically when I walk by, what I realize is this guy clearly had caught a chicken. This guy took it. He has it in his hands. He's about to demolish that thing. Yeah. Whatever he's doing with it. Yeah. And this guy just hit the most sad. That kind of thing, and was like, You stole my chicken! <laughs> like, that's exactly what it looked like, and that's what I just like. <laughs> that's what it is. I would like to actually translate this <laughs> The Pigeon House. <laughs> so, you stole my pigeon. So it's, it's actually, You stole my pigeon. I was wrong. <laughs> you stole my pigeon! Yo, pigeon, pigeon move, dude. You don't want to be a victim, too. <laughs> that guy's in the wrong spot. It seriously is. German riders. What's something in Germany you're surprised to see so many of? Bakeries. Why are they on every corner? I have no idea. Bakery, cafe. They have every sweet in the world. Every like croissant. Let's put some cheese on the croissant. There's a lot of them now. All right, let's go in there. We're going in? Yep. All right. So you got the kajungi. I hope they can get it out. <laughs> he says, I hope they can get it out because it's stuck. <laughs> Moist okay. Yeah, Moistenegger. Wrong. I hope she, it's a sin rule. Yes, yeah, she did. She saved you. Yeah, she came in. From pure you. embarrassment. He <laughs> <laughs> just bounced off limiter. <laughs> That's a big baby, though. Very big baby. That's a 10 year old in a wagon. car seat. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. Alright, let's do this. Which one are you going for? I really don't know. <laughs> I can't remember the name. First bite of the Herfkin shock. Ooh, that is good. <laughs> wow. There's wow. cheese and berries and bread. The berry, though. I, I guess you can't really go wrong, huh? Wow. Wow. Don't eat too much. You gotta eat the other ones, though. Come on, come on. Next. I gotta get a little more. Number two. This one is the cinnamon roll. We think. It looks kind of like one. No, it's not a cinnamon roll. Yeah, I don't even know the name of it. I long, I can't, I can't remember these. They're, the oh, letters just nice don't go though. in order. Oh, let me take a big bite of that one right there. Mm. Is it cinnamon? I hope we were right. Not so cinnamon. It's like a glaze thing, but not very cinnamon. Really? Yeah. Should I go ask her for the ingredients? <laughs> It's nice, but it's not like a cinnamon roll, though. Is it better than the other thing, or you like the berry thing better? The berry thing's nice. Ooh, Flugenheimen. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to another version of the Hotel Room Cribs. This time we are in Stuttgart, Germany, and uh, we're going to show you guys the interesting things about our hotel room. We're going to start things off with the bed. This is quite strange. Well, let me say beds. There is two beds, but you wouldn't believe it if I told you that when you see it. So this is our setup. We got beds that are directly next to each other. We're pretty much sharing a bed, but we have two different blankets on it. You can see that little crack in the middle right there. Found that out yesterday. It's a little no awkward. Idea. Thought we were sharing a blanket the oh, whole you entire did? time. It just looks Found like one big bed, doesn't it? It's just a double layered blanket. <laughs> cool. So it's a little awkward, you know. I wouldn't recommend coming to this place with uh, you know somebody you just met for the first time. It could get a little, little weird there. I didn't mind it. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's so strange. Another thing about Germany, if you turn the TV on at night, you get very, very explicit commercials with numbers to call in German. It's definitely not what I imagined when we were scrolling through the channels. It's nothing I've ever seen on the TV in the United States of America. And another thing, they have different outlets than we do in the United States. This is what the power outlet looks like. And we do not have anything to convert it to American. So I'm currently using a plug that Kyle from Vital BMX is loaning me. And we get to pass it back and forth so I can get full charge and he can get full charge. So it's definitely interesting. All right. It's a, there's a couple things in our way here. But besides that, it's going really good in Germany so far. Anything else you want to add, Matt? They've got a really cool rock climbing wall with every room. <laughs> what is Actually, it's pretty lame. But you're, you're kind of done once you put your hands on. It's over. But that's that. That's, so. that's really convenient. Only if Corey was here. <laughs> It'd probably be a big one for him. What is that for, you think? That's it, rock climbing. That's the only thing that makes Oh, it's a coat hanger. That's exactly what it is. That's got to be what it is right there. I like the rock climbing. Yeah, yeah I, I think it's a good ad. We also have a refrigerator. Yeah, you just need to put in a code, and if it's not really that cold. And also, oh, here's a refrigerator. If you close it, you need to know the codes get back in. So, <laughs> so you put your stuff in. That's convenient, because uh, well, I'm not going to steal any of your stuff. You're not going to steal any of mine. But what do you do about the cooling factor? Uh, no, that's it. You just hope your stuff stays at room temperature. So we're gonna be here for the next couple of days. We're gonna film some videos. Maddie's gotta ride the contest. Like I was saying earlier, Maddie's goal is to be top 20. They're gonna be taking 14 rides to the finals and they're changing the format a little bit because this time they're going to be doing a full jam session instead of run. It should make for an awesome contest. And judging by the riding we saw today, it should be a really crazy event trick wise as well. So that's gonna be it for this one guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, remember to subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching. Peace.